Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to the second day of my Spotlight Week featuring Lone Phone. So today I'll be using these two adorable stamp sets that come with matching dyes and uh, the stamp sets are called um, Gleeful Gardens and uh, Cruising Through Life. So first of all I'm starting with uh, the Cruising Through Life uh, stamp set and I'll be using this bicycle. So I'm going to stamp it on uh, top of white cardstock by using Memento Toxido Black Ink. I will be using my alcohol markers to color the image and that's why I'm using uh, Memento ink. From the same uh, stamp set I'll be stamping also the flower bouquet which uh, later I'm going to stick it inside the basket of uh, the bicycle. To color my image I'll be using my Spectrum Noir markers and uh, I'm just using a couple of uh, colors for each um, part of the image since uh, the, all the parts are very tiny and uh, you can't do too much shading. I'll be staying with uh, the purples, pinks and uh, light yellows for this card. It's a great color combination and it reminds me of uh, spring which I so miss these days. So anyway, as I'm coloring my image, just to remind you that there is a giveaway running on my blog. So if you want a chance to win one of uh, the stamp sets from the new release by Lone Phone, make sure to visit my blog. If you're watching on YouTube, you will find the link just below the video in the description area. You can also find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using on my blog as well. So now I've finished coloring my image and uh, now I'll uh, use the dye for the bicycle. What I love about this dye is that not only it cuts around the bicycle but it also cuts out the white space between uh, the wheels. To make sure that my dye will not move as I run it through my cattle bag, I tape it down with some post-it tape. And here are my images all cut out. So now I'm using my craft knife to cut out a small slit inside the bicycle and uh, this is where I'm going to put the flower bouquet. And uh, I'm going to secure it at the back with some tape adhesive just to make sure that it will not move on me. And uh, I'll uh, go on with uh, the rest of my design. So first of all I'll be using one of these uh, rectangle frames. This is the larger one from the small set. So the set that I'm using is uh, actually the um, small stitch rectangle stackables but I've used the larger one from this set and I'm also going to use these landscape uh, curves and uh, they will help me to create my scene on my uh, final card. So I'm using again the same uh, Spectrum Noir uh, yellowish green marker to create my grass and by doing so I'm making sure that uh, my grass perfectly matches the rest of uh, the green on uh, the bicycle. For this card design I wanted to keep my color combos to minimum, so I have only used uh, a couple of colors basically. I'm going to stick my ground directly on top of my background pattern paper and uh, the top of uh, my ground I'm going to adhere it using some foam adhesive at the back to create some uh, extra dimension. Now the background for my card is from a lone foam pattern paper and it's from uh, the beach side paper pad. And the background for my uh, little scene is ready. I'm going to stick the bicycle on top of my background using, using foam adhesive. And uh, now just to add a few more elements for my scene, I'll be using the other stamps that I've showed you earlier. And uh, this is Gleeful Gardens and I think it's such a cute uh, stamp set. Uh, just like every other stamp set by Lone Phone. So I'm stamping uh, the flower and a couple of uh, grass images from this set. And again I'm using my Memento Toxido Black Ink because I'll be using again the same colors of uh, markers that I've used previously. I have also stamped the tiny little mushroom. So qu quickly I'm going to add some color there and then use the matching dies to cut around them. I just love those dies that uh, cut out each and every image in uh, the stamp set. I like to bend them back and forth to cut them out, but a pair of pliers just uh, close by is always handy. So I have cut out all the images here and it's time to assemble my scene. I'm going to stick the um, flower at the back, just behind the first layer of uh, the ground, and this will create the illusion of depth. And I'll go ahead and stick each and every image here and there. 
So the grass will go next to the mushrooms and the big uh, grass will go just behind the bicycle. For my sentiment, I'll be using the phrase that comes in uh, the Cruising Through Life stamp set. So I'm uh, going to stick it on my stamping block there and I'll uh, be using my black ink. I decided to stamp it on uh, top of my sky, but uh, I didn't like it at the end, so you'll see me changing things up. To add some shimmer, I'm using my Wink of Stella clear glitter pen, and I'm going all over the flowers, the mushroom, as well as uh, the bicycle. And for the sentiment that I didn't like, I decided to stamp it on top of uh, white cardstock with black ink. And uh, now I'll be using my Fisker streamer to cut out a strip of paper and uh, just uh, create a fish tail at the end of this uh, strip to create my sentiment there. So I'm going to stick uh, this strip of paper with the sentiment on top of uh, the one that I have uh, stamped and cover it up. And I'll be using some uh, foam tape adhesive at the back to add some uh, dimension. I think that uh, this way my sentiment will have more contrast and it will stand out more. So there goes my big uh, roll of uh, tape adhesive. I'm uh, going to peel off the backing and uh, now stick it on top carefully and uh, making sure that I cover up uh, my other stamping. So there you go, no one will ever know. The card that I'm making today is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And uh, I am going to stick my panel on top of my card base using my giant roll of tape adhesive to add some dimension. Now this uh, tape adhesive isn't too thick and although it adds a bit of dimension, it doesn't make your card too bulky. Some uh, pearls on top of on, on the centers of the flowers and my card is almost ready. As a finishing touch, I'll be adding some glossy accents all over the back. Bicycle, and this will kind of lock down the simmer from the Wink of Stella and create um, an awesome effect. You can check the photos at the end of the video. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching.